So bad. I'm gonna charge her lane and hope to god. I mean, I guess the 12 second duration or cooldown is, is what makes him okay now, but... You get past like... You get past like 10 minutes, you're like, well, I hope I have farm on him. I hope I have like an urn or something. Otherwise, I'm kind of useless. Yeah, like, I mean, the ult is really strong though, so... It's just about having numbers advantages with this hero. So if you gank a lane where you have two heroes versus two heroes, suddenly you have 3v2 and because of the charge and you could just do the same thing with the nature's prophet though honestly right yeah but he in combat like spirit breaker is much stronger people. in combat than Furion, at least in the early game that's yeah, true and the bash is hardly 18 percent please fix or 19 or 17 percent sorry yeah that's that, it's not 17 percent please <laughs> what fix is it spell. it's like five i don't know have you played against that hero Yes. There's no way it's 17%. It's like 30 or something. Or 25. Uh, pseudo random distribution, man. No, it's not. It's not? Oh, right, no, well. it's the only bash in the game that's not. That's not purity. Pseudo random distribution. Maybe that's why it seems so crazy. I, it probably is. It's probably like it could just happen literally every single time. It's like, yep, hit it, hit it, hit it. Good, got it. I mean, oh, I've played against that hero, and actually, breaker. I don't Excellent. know what you're talking about. I don't think that bash is anywhere above that percentage. You don't? There's no way. No, I never get bashed by that hero. That hero, every time I play serious? against that hero, I laugh at him, and he fucking dies, dude. That's what happens when I play against Spirit Breaker. He just dies. Every time that guy charges me, first hit bash. Like, every time. And every time You know I you get bashed hero, when you get charged, right? It, it, it stuns you. No, no, no I, I know, but that's <laughs> secondary. Like the... God damn it, man. That, that hero is not as good uh, as you're making it out to be. I oh, think for I'm British for Polar, like, it's probably he's... fine. They have a, a, by the way, a 9 and 3 win rate in 6.82 with the hero. So they've picked the hero enough times to have a 9 and 3 win rate. Hmm. They've picked it 12 times in 6.2. Mm. I don't know if they're crazy. I mean, I guess it's working. That's good. That's something. Cloud9 actually pick up a Darkseer, a hero we see too often. I think it's okay here. There's no real... I'm actually... It almost feels like the Darkseer this game is... Its only purpose is to iron shell PA. <laughs> like, the wall is not going to be so effective against these heroes. No, that, that wall does nothing. Um, there's no vacuum combo. I guess you have the coil, right? So there's going to be the vacuum coil. Maybe that's their plan here, but... It just sort of seems like the main purpose of this hero is to buff up the PA. I'm gonna be honest, with the exception of IOPA, I don't really like this draft from Cloud9. I think Virtus Propeller's draft's better. And even with yeah, the Spirit Breaker, well. even though I'm not a fan of the Spirit Breaker and I'm adamantly against this hero being in the metagame currently, I oh, like the mid. draft better. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, it's offline. I'm just confused because they like switch lanes all the time. All right. No, yeah, that's offline. Based on heroes, yeah, yeah. Well, I think, uh,. PP is mainly going to depend on how much the Spear Breaker can get done in the game, and it will his charge ganks be successful. Because if your first couple charge ganks aren't successful, you can fall behind in levels and gold really fast. But if they are successful, watch out, because there will be a point in the game where no one on the map is safe if he gets ahead. All of a sudden you see a Space Scout charging a lane. And yeah. I mean, especially lost. a hero like Wisp, right? A hero with no armor. That is what not going to be fun. Hold on, let me translate this real quick. Illidan has made a Japanese effigy. Something like God. It says Kami. Oh, it's from... This is from Death Note. Oh. Okay. So apparently Illidan watches anime. He does. He No, I, I, know, I knew that because he had... Um, one of his tags earlier on was uh, Shirley Finette, which is from, I believe, Code Gas. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I've seen that one. I've ah. watched uh, several, but not He's very He's watched several anime, everybody. Look <laughs> out. <laughs> that one was actually good. Oh, I mean, they, everyone likes that one. It's from, from Death Note. It's, it's, it's like I'm the god of the new world or something. What a guy. What a player. <laughs> Have you seen the actual effigy, dude? <laughs> Look at this effigy. <laughs> Look at look at Ilden's effigy, man. It's it's almost as good as eyes. Yeah, I've seen it. It's actually hilarious. <laughs> Time to go in uh, cinematic excellence. 
All right, FNG doesn't have an inscription. He needs, he needs to get rid of those items, though. Like those arm... The, the ethereal blade uh, armlets? Whatever those yeah. armlets are. They yeah. They terrible. They, they actually ruined my immersion. Yeah. Well, the they morphling. like... Why does Morphling have these terrible items? I never understood. Like, if you look at his items, yeah, they're just so bad. I mean, bad. besides, like, Ethblade is like really good. Like, those that's were the, well that's done. The the, that's the Ethblade, Paul. Uh, Epulets, I believe, isn't it? No, I mean just the blades, like the ones that come out of his hands. Yeah, those. That isn't that it? Maybe I don't it's think not. so. Uh, okay, but you're no, probably no, no. right. It's, it's not. not. But all the other items, like he has some stupid crowns and like some. Stuff that goes on his back, it's all terrible. Like, what what were you doing, Val, <laughs> letting these items in my game? <laughs> those are like the first items, though. They really like, were. One the they were one of the items. first, I think. But they Do you remember all those, like, it's like all those awful bounty hunter sets that came out, also? Like, not even the bounty hunter sets, there's like uh, Sven to a certain extent, all the awful axe sets. God, there were so many bad sets back then. Tied on your items. They've really Somebody's stepped up their set good. game. Yeah, they really have. It's yeah. a good thing too because I, was I think it's upset. competition, but it is more well, uh, artists. Yeah. Regardless, apparently Illidan is the god of the new world, according to his inscription on his effigy. We'll see how this does pan out. It's going to be Cloud9 versus Redis Pro Polar here. Game number one, getting it away. Uh, like you mentioned, it is going to be DK Focus off and Spirit Breaker. He's going to look through the top rune. Uh, there is this ward coming out from the dire side, so they will spot him out. He's going to ward. They clearly know that he's warded there. They'll probably counter that as soon as possible if they have. They don't have a sentry. Never mind. They're not countering shit. Um, and it is going to be Fata safe lane with probably AUI 2000 on the bane. Yeah, let's just go through the intros all together. Eternal Levy is going to be on your Phantom Assassin mid lane with Pilot Eye playing your IO. And to top it all off, it is going to be Bone 7 playing your offline Dark Seer. No surprises as far as the laning setup is concerned for Cloud9. And on the side of Virtus Pro Puller, in the safe lane, we're going to have FNG playing the Support Witch Doctor. Alongside Lil on the Skywrath Mage. Illidan's going to be playing Slark. In the mid lane, we're going to have Mag playing Death Prophet. And off lane, we're going to have the Space Cow being played by DK Phobos. He gets tether slowed. Um, they're just going to chase him down. They have brains up. They really can't kill him. Stout Shield is actually making it impossible for him to... I mean, AUI 2000 does have Brain Set, but they're not going to get him low enough for him to be able to go down. He actually pops himself, heals, be fine, and... Lil picks up a haste rune, and... He kind of runs at them. Throws up an Arcane Bolt, it's a Pilot Eye. Pilot Eye's like, I don't really give a damn. Pilot Eye actually has... No regen and no money. Well, actually, he has plenty of money. He's getting a bottle. Um, so that'll be his item. Good lane, Eternal Envy going up against Bag, so... Alright. Yes, it's going to be a bit of a dual lane early, I think, for both sides. I think this is smart from VP. They can hurt it. Oh my god. Uh, we've lost. That's it. We the have. game is over. <laughs> Bone 7 goes down. It's going to be FNG getting the kill. Illidan obviously jumping in with the pounce, getting it done. I was watching that. I thought for sure they were going to go on to one of those heroes, but that's not the case. This is actually a deceptively strong lane from VPP, especially at level 1. The Witch Doctor has a lot of right-click damage, and then if you ever land a Pounce, it's pretty much ensured death to the Darkseer. It's so an easy lane. It is a dual lane that, you know, usually when you have a dual lane against Darkseer, if you don't keep him at level 1, you, it's very difficult to kill him. But I think this lane can actually kill him, like, post the leveling of Surge. So. He can maybe head to the jungle at some point if he feels uncomfortable. He might have to do that at some point. So, just somebody to keep in mind. Meanwhile, mid lane still some action happening, but for the most part, actually seven last hits for Mag, only two for Envy. That is a problem. And that is not going his way. That is actually an issue. There's no reason to dual lane mid if you're not going to shut down um, this Death Prophet when you can be farming elsewhere on the map. Envy yeah. is not having a good time. Uh, it's because he went for this skill build. He doesn't actually have any points in Stifling Dagger. That's that kind of is a problem. He wants Blur, and that's fine. Meanwhile, in the jungler, chasing after Bone 7. They already threw up the cast. The pounce misses from Illidan, the right click, but the ghost slow him down. Concussive shot. Bone 7 is dead. It's Surge? Maybe not. Yeah, actually, he's, he's, he's dead. Yeah. Doesn't need the Arcane Bolt. Meanwhile, Lil gets the kill. The Bone 7 will go down. So. Uh, I thought there was a kill mid, but I actually just picked up a, a dual damage turn. So. We didn't miss anything there. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. 
I think um, they went for the skilled mid to play really aggressive, but it really hasn't paid off for them because obviously he would have a lot more CS if he had the stifling dagger at level one. I mean, he's sharing CS with Pilot Eye currently. That's an issue. Whereas you have all 14 CS going for Mag and zero yeah. CS for Lil, so. And Lil's already, you know, already started his work, went to the bottom lane, got a kill on Darkseer. Darkseer now has to rotate into the jungle. He does have a nice stack working for him, so he's going to be able to clear that off. Although, it's a bit odd that he's trying to do this stack with level 1 Ion. Usually you wait until you have level 2 Ion to start doing these stacks, because you do it actually so slowly. Well, what other option does he have other than going well, bottom can, and dying? No, no, he kills this first, and then he does this. Uh, and then okay. he does that with the... Yeah. What do you... You're not... I don't see you're drawing, if you're drawing anything. Hmm. Can you see that uh, ping? Yes. Okay. So he kills this first, got it. Yeah. I mean, it was fine. It just took forever. Either way, it's got to be kind of a nuisance for Bone7 in the jungle. He will be able to get his levels, and we'll see how that goes. Rotating through mid lane is FNG. He's got to pop a sentry, maybe over at the top rune spot. And mm -hmm. I, 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 he's got to try to contest these runes. That's the biggest thing, is that if you're against an IO, you don't want to get him to have rune control. There's going to be blank iron shell, but he is not going to die that tower. Spirits do go, and FNG comes in. Cask does fly. Surge away. Ancient Seal Pilot died very low. Dead? Arcane Bolt is going to kill him. I think no. He oh, actually lives because of the bottle charge. Bounty were taken by AUI 2000. Oh, he's so getting charged. He might be in some trouble. AUI, buddy. Um, the way he's walking... Oh, he's going to walk to the tower. Never mind. He's going to be okay. Is he okay? They see him charging. They know that he's getting charged. Yeah, AUI's fine. Yeah, they're not dying Bots was here as well. He's like, listen, I got your back, buddy. He's level 5. Hits his illusory orb. I'm not going to jaunt through and... Back to farming we go. Kind of an awkward situation. Very good for them that they do get this bottle onto Pilot Eye. Decently early, I think he had it at about two minutes because he just went for the naked bottle. They definitely are going to need that in this lane. Pilot Eye does port to the bottom lane. He could be in some trouble if Illidan does get him in the pounce. I think he would just die. Uh, he pounces away. Bill doesn't yeah. want to get caught out of position. He, by the way, has 22 CS. The mid lane Death Prophet has 27. So much for this dual lane mid, which has now been blown up. And Eternal Envy is just like, I guess I'm not getting farmed today. I guess yeah. I'm just going to not get CS. Pounce does hit under Pilot Eye down bottom, and he's, he's, he's dead. Tether, dead. TP's a bit late from Bone 7. I thought that would have saved his life. Yep. Well, and, I mean, Illidan CS is not ideal just because he was against the Darkseer as a melee hero. Always a difficult thing to handle. I mean, this double ion just does so much damage until you're level 6 on the Sark. And you can shut it in freely, yeah. avoid all that damage. Not so lucky yet. He's not 6. He's very close to 6, but he's not there yet. What is DK Phobos accomplishing up in the top lane? He is level 4, so he's got about the same amount of levels as Bone 7 currently. Mm -hmm. Boots of speed, 400 gold to bank, and he has 10 CS, surprisingly enough. I'm surprised he even got that much, but I guess he was in a solo matchup against yeah, Fossil for a, a period of time. So. Uh oh. Uh oh. Envy's getting charged. Tether coming in. Envy wants to fight. He has a double damage rune. There's the Phantom Strike going in. Mag cannot stand toe-to-toe -to, -toe to this. Envy gets the kill. That is big. DK Phobos has charge in three. Stifling Dagger is going to go. AUI has Brain Sap charge. Nightmare it up. That was not where they wanted to go. They're going to steal the Nightmare. Back and forth. It's going to get juggled. Now Phobos goes down. Little in some trouble. That is a huge kill coming out from Envy. Three going the way of Cloud9 because of a double damage rune that British Pro Polar were like, well, we'll take the fight here. Not even an issue. Oh god, what a disaster. Yeah, I'm Damn not sure why the they chose to take that fight against the DD on Pia. He's gonna keep going, man. FNG is like, I got this. Charge coming in. TP scroll as well. FNG might die. Needs Stifling Dagger. EE is not gonna keep going. Overcharge going in. They do get the kill. That actually made everything somewhat okay. Yeah. It okay. was okay. I, I mean, so they lost... Okay, it still wasn't okay. They lost three for one. It's probably not worth it. Yeah. Well, let's see. They have two bottles in this midline, actually. That's a bit interesting. Usually when you have a IO on your team, you don't opt for your own personal bottle. This is Envy we're talking about, though. Yeah. He likes it just so he can get the runes. Okay, they do abuse the bottle, though. So they put the bottle back on Envy, the one that Pilot I had, just to make to refill it. 
Top lane, Nightmare up into Phobos coming in. There's the Dream Quill coming. He can't really charge anywhere else. In fact, he did and stopped it. He knew he was going to get stunned up regardless, and he just dies. He was going to maybe try to charge to the low ground and then have the tether snap, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what was going to happen there. It was kind of awkward. Yeah. In the end, the space cow pick not really working out for them right now. I mean, the other heroes on his team are doing extremely well right now, so... It's not losing not them the game bad. yet. It's not losing them the game, but it's certainly becoming an issue. Yep. Uh, he really needs charge. to find space and get level 6 as soon as possible. They are going on mid currently. Dive. But there is going to be a rotation from two heroes. Pilot Eyes is actually sealed up. He is in trouble. He's not dead. Mag is very low, though. He is going to work. They will get the kill onto the aisle. What about Mag? Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. That is definitely worth it if you are Eternal MVP. AUI walks up, Shadow Dance, AUI, Nightmare Self, TP out! He's not gonna make it! Goodbye, AUI. And now, Eternal MVP is trying to fight, but there are three heroes in the vicinity, and he's uh, in some trouble. Ancient Seal pounce, he's actually dead. Maybe not yet. Buys items, he will fall. Alright, well, suddenly this Spirit Breaker hero gets two kills thanks to the charge. Three. Oh, they're just gonna go ham. Oh, oh he no! missed the pounce! Tether away! And they won't die this Bone Seven's here. Uh, Phobos. Wow, Bone Seven TP. Surge up into Pilot Eye. Spirits are going through. They want this kill, and they're going to get it. Maybe not. The Pounce. What a play. Oh, my God. And they missed the wall. Oh, no, I thought for sure he was dead in the last Spirit, but they came back in. They took the Spirit damage for Ilden. Pounce is going to connect barely. What a game. Back and forth. Ilden is jumping out. People all damn day. Dark Pack goes to get the Stifling Dagger off. Exorcism is hurting Envy quite a bit. And they're going to come in. Stifling Dagger. Silence on the mag. AUI comes in. Maybe with a Brain Sap. Dream Coil goes in. Do they have the damage? The Spirits are going to come back pretty soon. They need to get this kill, and they will get it done. But AUI taking a lot of damage. Now they're going to go into little... AY will fall to the Arcane Bolt, but Envy will get this kill onto Lil. Mystic Flare goes, Envy has to walk away from it, and will do so. Alright, what happened? Well, the dust settles. Who <laughs> came out on top? I don't know what the hell is. That wasn't... Uh, uh, I think VPP came out on top. They killed... Uh, like, five heroes... Four heroes, I want to say, for two. So... Or for three. I don't know, it's very <laughs> difficult to keep track. This is a CIS game, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Cloud9 has turned all CIS. It is important to note though that FNG is now level 6 on the Switch Doctor, so that's a very important level for him. Uh, the only person in the game that's actually not 6 is the Bane. Actually, he's quite close as well, so everyone getting up to their ultimates quite quickly as it is a bloodbath right now. You, know, you can't fight into this anymore, games, man. Yeah, sometimes we see games where, you know, people aren't level 6 at 13, 14 minutes, but not today. Uh, purchase Midas, 10 to 15 minutes after treads, 71% win rate. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. That is not what I expected. They are relocating top. DK Phobos gets a kill on the Bone 7 elsewhere. Phantom Shark and FNG. There's the ult coming in. EE -E and Pilot Eye are getting blown up. They will jump in. They will get one kill. Will they get two? Absolutely. A TP coming through. They missed the Crypt Swarm. MV is going to run away and maybe... Off. Beautifully played. AUI is going to nightmare. No dark pet coming up, but they do steal it away. Okay. Two for two ac across the map. And Wanny Rift goes in. He's going to try to jump on Mag. Not going to be able to do so. Another awkward initiation. Uh, that I think was... they just traded two for two again. They're going to trade three for three? Yes. Fast. Okay, they did AY. Use there, so oh no! A... Okay, it didn't bounce as much. I think AUI is still dead though. Uh, maybe? Nightmare? Wow. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Pilot, I could have chased down. They're diving the tier 1 tower with exorcism. There's four heroes in the top lane. They're losing all of their heroes on Cloud 9 side. I. This is getting crazy. Yeah. Although, honestly, these kills don't matter too much because there's no no objectives being taken after the kills. Um, although, I think soon, if this keeps trending towards VPP like this, uh, once the Exorcism is level 2, these towers are just going to melt after the ensuing teamfights. So I'm a little worried for Cloud9 right now because they didn't shut down the PA with the... I mean, the Krob with the PA. And, you know, PA is a nice counter to Krob when you can shut him down but 
If crop starts to get ahead like this, your evasion does nothing against the spirits. What is Envy actually doing this game now as a Phantom Assassin, besides running at people and dying? He's actually not doing too much. I mean, he has... They're gonna oh, they're relocate gonna to the top lane. Bots is dead. FNG might be the next target, oh, however, but the he can build here. Pile of Eye is actually just dead. Yep, Nightmare comes in. Envy is trying his best, but the cask is absolutely obliterating people. That Nightmare dodge, though. They will wow. wake him up. FNG is going to try to heal up, and Envy is going to just chase him down. But that's that's fine. A uh, one-for-one one trade like that. Actually, one-for-two trade in the end. And they're going to try to jump back in with the, the sun. It was close, but no, they, they couldn't save his life, so. That Envy Nightmare Juggle nearly saved his life. Like, dodging that Cycling Dagger, that was really nice play by him. Mm hmm. Fortunately, wasn't enough. There's going to be a go on Bone 7, but it looks like he's just going to TP away from the Oof. Slurk. That Dark Pack would have killed him if he had waited a second longer for that TP. Very close. Yep. And the VPP are actually playing this very well. I mean, you see how good Witch Doctor is against the Wisp Relocate. He clicks Cask, and they're just stunned for five seconds. Pretty crazy. Or four seconds. Something Which right. sucked pick last was absolutely a phenomenal pick. Yeah. Um, it did well in the bottom lane with the Slark Witch Doctor, mm -hmm. and it's doing really well right now in these fights. Mm -hmm. The heal Nine is really 11, big turn. The, the thing is, it's, it's, it's everything. It's really the cask. Oh god, I'll pilot I goodbye, buddy. No tether target. Witch Doctor ultimate Crypt Storm. Wow, he dies quickly. And Envy can't get in there. Even if he tries to go for that fight, he, he dies, so... Man, this is sort of when Spirit Breaker gets scary. He's getting up some tanky stats. He's at about 1400 HP when he has Strength Treads on. And how do they deal with the Spirit Breaker? They don't really have the damage right now to kill him very easily without committing a lot of resources. So this guy's just going to be charging all over the place, hitting you, bashing you, being obnoxious, and you don't really want to use a bunch of spells on him. Bobos is charging towards the bottom lane. He is going all the way in. Dream Coil missed. Wow. Fata swinging a miss there, buddy. Settling Dagger, Waning Rift going in. Bobos, again, you talked about it. He's tanky. How tanky is he? Nether Strike's going to go. It's going to keep him alive for the time being. Another Settling Dagger. Earn's going to go in. Exorcism. They've got to back away. Envy is going to die to Exorcism. He will fall. Yes. They get the kill. Illidan chasing after a pilot eye. There's the charge in. DK Phobos is so low, but he doesn't give a damn. They do get the kill with the spirit ball, but they get the kill on IO in return. That was awkward. That was actually quite funny. Does... Oh, Illidan actually hasn't picked up his item yet. Uh, it should be a blink dagger, I would think. He has 3,400 golds. He's not going to buy it. He chooses against it. Maybe he's just going to go straight Scotty. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but... I have not either. It's usually like Lothar's or Blink into Scotty. He passed the shot like three times. Yes, he also, most certainly did. if he did. was going to buy Lothar's, he would have bought it already, right? Yes. <clears throat> if he was going to buy Blink Tag, he would have bought it already, right? Yeah. Relocate top, Fata, Ancient Seal. Great Blink. FNG in trouble now. Stifling Dagger, the cast going in. Mystic Flare on a Pilot Eye. He walks out of it. Heals coming in from FNG, saving his life. He's actually going to live. Urn Charge keeps him up. Fiend's grip on a little. He might not be so. Okay. Oh no! That is awkward. Pylai, die! What have you done? No! <laughs> AUI is like you've got to be kidding me. This is that was not miscommunication. Seen oh boy! Boat Seven is gonna try to take the tower bottom as Mag does TP in. It is very close to being denied. In fact, will be. Yeah. Right, okay. he's he gets the tower. It's worth it. He picks up his blink dagger as well. Dead. Yep. And that kill was actually only possible due to the vision granted by charge, so there you go. Spirit Breaker doing Spirit Breaker things. Good hero. Oh, he picks up the Shadow Blades, so... Opting oh, are we for talking more about the, the Spark? Snowball See, well, you said that if he was going to buy Shadow Blade, he would have picked it up already. You were wrong. Well, you I were guess wrong. he was just waiting until he got 4.5k gold to pick up I, a Shadow Blade. I guess so. <laughs> New meta. <laughs> He's got 1,600 gold in the bank. AY is getting charged currently. Uh, is this going to transition into him dying? Maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of help here. Uh, Fata, Ancient sealed up. Mystic Flare. AY is like, please help me. Overcharge coming in. He stays alive. Brain Sap. Uh-oh. This is not your fight, Virtus Propolar. 
FNG. Wow, he gets silenced immediately by Fod, so that's a huge waiting rift coming in. Nightmare, that'll be under Phobos so they don't get bashed up. They juggle the Nightmare, though. Charge up on AUI. Nether Strike has already been used. Max is coming from the backside, and he's trying to clean this up. Exorcism, goodbye, Pilot Eye. Silence is up as well. They take the kill on Fots on the backside. Crypt Swarm, no mech for Bone 7 as he went for a Blink Tacker. Tethers to Bone 7. On the other side of things, Envy getting chased down. Charge, not on to Envy, surprisingly enough. FNG has cask, I believe, in about five seconds and should die. Vacuum, wall. Wow, Envy, they get him alive and now actually he does fall. He still goes down to the extra system. Tether in. Spirits, nope. Mag gets a double kill. Pilot Eye goes through his is death. This all and without Slark. This is a 4 versus just, 5 fight. They just lost a 4v5. That looked like it was going to be a complete disaster for VPP at the beginning. And that it didn't turn out that way. What an awkward fight. Magus through Mag? pushing gold, by the way. No, he's okay. Vacuum back. Even if he dies here, it doesn't matter. He's gonna get, wow. AUI's like, I got him, and then DK Phobos just charges him. Phobos is in some trouble. There's the Nightmare Mystic Flare. AUI has to walk out of that. Arcane Bolt, Ancient Seal, another Arcane Bolt. He is dead. Oh my goodness, it is crumbling for Cloud9 at this point. This is not a good game for them. They are down. Almost 7,500 gold, and uh, Virtus Pro Polar have, I'd say, this late game. Yeah, Not secured, they but they're they're in a good spot. I, they definitely have better late game with the Krab and Slurk just going against that PA. It's not like they have the PA Elder Titan or anything, so... Not going to be able to one-shot the Slurk later in the game. They're going they for gonna the Seder Cloud9 play. play. Yeah, this is, this is Cloud9 in a nutshell. If you're behind, go for Roche. They are actually going to get this, I think. This is taking so long. This is the longest rush I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're going to get it. And they're going to get some nice gold and experience off of that. This is probably one of their ways to get back into the game. Looks like EE actually isn't going for the Battle Fury build, thinking it's going to be too late. He's probably right. He's just going to go for this Helm of Dominator into BKB. I was going to say, I man, imagine. this is not a Battle Fury game. Yeah, I've actually... I'm not sure I've ever seen him not go Battle Fury in a game like so that's uh, just how terrible this game's going for EE. Are they going to fight this? Pounce up, EE, maybe not the best target. He is going to fall. That Aegis is going to have to be expended. Goodbye. Vacuum. Oh, they got him onto the high ground, Bone 7. But what can they do with this? The Death Ward coming in. Envy getting bashed back towards the Death Ward. He blink strikes away, but it's not enough. They get the kill. Mag with an unstoppable spree. They are chasing after AUI 2000. There's still somebody stuck on a cliff. That is Mag, by the way. Ilden has the Shadow Blade. They see him clearly underneath the tower. This is awkward. Uh, they're going to try to go on AUI 2000 and S and Shift, Brain Sap going in. Uh, good nightmare, but AUI is dead regardless. Three dead for Cloud9. Virtus Pro Polar are obliterating Cloud9. I just want to note that this game has 45 kills and it is 20 minutes in. I am down for this. Every single game of Dota ever. Please, more of this. I'd like to see. This is uh, one of the more action-packed Dota games I've actually ever this watched. Ain't no, this ain't no Snob versus Complexity game number two, though. Okay, let's that's be true. That was that, a pretty that, insane game. That was like what that, three kills a minute or something or four? I, it was it was fifty. It was like forty to like forty at like twenty five minutes into the game. I can't remember. Somebody look at the vod. That was one of the craziest games. Yeah, that, that plus Dakota soundboard. Yep. What a game. What what a fun time that was. That was the best time I've had casting. Honestly, it was that game. And I've been casting for a long time. Yule's so, Exorcism, I mean, Bone 7, you are dead. Oh, maybe not. He misses his uh, silence. So Bone 7 surges away. He, and he blinks oh. too. Wow. wow. Okay. What a player. Okay, so how does Cloud9 get back into this game? I don't know I if think... you can. Mag's going to have a, a heart plus level 3 ultimate soon. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can kill him. Yeah, it's not like you really get anything from walling this Death Prophet either. She's not a... He Ah, I got your right click. I got all of the 100 <laughs> base damage plus your 27 bonus damage that you're giving off. Uh, I mean, it's not like you get mini exorcism or something. That'd be kind of funny. Um, you get you get walled Ilden and you get your essence shift. That's that's what you get. Maybe he gets uh, an assault Karas and they give the buff to you. I don't know. I mean, it just seems like this Dark Seer, it really predicated on PA getting ahead and then just putting Ion Show on PA and then hoping that it helped the PA get some kills in Snowball. They need to stop picking this hero for MV. They picked this hero every single game of the Grand Finals except for the Terrorblade game, which was oh, not that's bad. True. I, I actually am. Mm, yeah, I think they might overrate this hero just a bit. They do. I'm very certain they do. 
They've I think lost with it a lot. But... It, it's down to, it comes down to chance, honestly. And any hero that comes down to chance, I think, is an issue. Pilot Eye's going to get caught out. Arcane Bolt's going to go, and uh, Ilden is looking for a pounce, and he might find it. Well, nope, just kidding. They don't need it. They have the charge followed up by the Arcane Bolt, so... Yeah, I don't actually think that the PA pick is the biggest problem in the draft. It just seems like the Starkseer is completely ineffectual. He's 171. I wouldn't even say it's his fault. It's like, he's against an impossible dual lane, and... When you were against a dual lane and you say it's impossible as Darkseer, you know the pick was not very effective because Darkseer is a hero that usually destroys dual lanes, you know? Yeah. He's I sort think of bad against tri let, lanes. You did not let Slark in this game. Or, yeah, probably just the Slark, actually. Yeah. This uh, DK Phobos Spearbreaker pick is... Oh, God. You've lost. I mean, You've lost the, the game of Dota, my friend. You have no blink dagger, there's nowhere to break you out of the trees. And, you know, I would say there would be some Charge. sort of comeback mechanic for C9 if maybe they had a uh, AoE ultimate to combine with the vacuum wall, but they really don't have anything. They have the coil, but that's not really... That's not any... That's not really a wall wombo combo. It's not like the ice path or the, you know, a ravage or black hole or something. Right. Rough game for C9. Maybe they're just evaluating what they should do for the next game because I would say their chances in this game are slim. Very, very slim. I won't pretend what you give them in this game right now. One. One percentage. Wow. That was worse than I thought. I thought you were going to say like 10%. Well, because no. if you just look at it, it, like, VPP don't even have to do anything special at this point. Like, no, they just seem to play look how game. farmed this death profit is and how tanky. What? Where's the damage coming from on C9? Literally nowhere. They actually uh, don't have damage on anyone. Okay, they got the courier and their fiends grouping Olden. That's good. They're gonna wall him. They're gonna relocate. Okay. okay. Well, that's a start. That is a start. Dead for 65 with no buyback. That'll give them some space on the map. That was that that was nest. The only problem was that enemy wasn't there to get mm -hmm. any bit of that gold. Also, how much did they get from that? 732 for the Bane. Good thing the Bane got the kill, guys. Good stuff. I mean, usually you would look at a gold graph and you'd be like, well, 12,000 gold, 12,000 experience, you'd say, oh, that's comebackable. But it's just the heroes that VPP have. It's actually very difficult to play against Spearbreaker when you're behind. This hero actually functions extremely well from ahead. They are charging on Envy. Three heroes in the vicinity. Dreamcore comes in. Mystic Flare. Envy's not dead yet. Good mech to keep him up and alive. Phobos taking some damage. Death Ward going, but does nothing. Uh, FNG trying his best. Nether Strike going in. Vacuum. This is a bad fight for British Propola. They've lost one already. They're going to lose two. They're going to actually lose three heroes here. One, right, two, so and maybe not. Charge. Okay. That hero is actually just ridiculous. <laughs> What's up, guys? Some TP out. <laughs> <laughs> he throws up the ogre bruiser onto the cliff, and he's like, my family! <laughs> oh, man. That is actually the most annoying thing when you're playing against Spirit Breaker. He's just, just like, fighting your whole cliff. team, and then he just, no, he just charges some random place on the map, and you're like, well, he's gone. <laughs> I guess we can not kill him. You all, everyone gets stunned by him, it's so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> You like He's try like, to peace stop out. him from charging and everyone gets stunned. <laughs> you could see like Fata's like on more than one occasion looked for like a dream coil to stop him from yeah. getting out and it just hasn't worked. Like he's missed most of the coils because of that. Um, there's a lot of drawing going up for the top lane for Virtus Pro Polar. They are kind of upset as to what happened uh, more than likely. I'm sure they're Unless like, come on TP. guys, what are we doing? Let's not throw. I don't is know that... if this game is throwable. I mean, it, it, it certainly is. Like, I guess if, every game is throwable. If they did that four more times, uh, yeah. they'd probably lose. Well, good thing they're killing AY2000 down bottom for Illidan, though. He actually got a creep in the process of killing Illidan. <laughs> he, like, right clicked the time, range creep. I so. would say if they did that four more times, even if the gold is even, I would still say they're ahead just based on the heroes that they have. So, I mean, you have exorcism. That yeah. just gives you so much. It's just like... It's dumb, actually. It's just Bone stupid. Bone7 actually has a VKB, so that's a pretty big... Is Pilot Eye there. dead? Uh, dead. Yeah, he is dead. <laughs> miss, miss. Well, it's that point in the game where yeah. they lost a fight, and then they just take two quick kills. It's like the tier yeah. 2 tower top. and They lost a fight, and they're like, yep, yeah, time to group up. Let's go top. Hit the tier They don't even get to press their R button. They're yeah, going to push into the tier 3 tower. 
and then that's going to be a problem. I don't think they could defend that tier 3 with wall and with all that stuff even. That to me gave me for AY2000, so there's that, but... They have eggs yet? No. Which doctor's going BKB? He's not even going eggs. Alright, tier 3 tower. It's been nice knowing you. Foxy jumps in, waiting rifts, does no real damage. Envy jumps in as well. Vacuum wall going in, mag taking some damage. BKB going in on bone 7. Mag's actually Are they dead. Come back? Mag is. Oh, the Eul Scepter keeps him alive, but he will fall. Yes! Illidan going to work. Feeds grip on to Illidan now. Cloud Nine are holding. They're getting two. Now they're going to go for FMG. Pops the Death Ward, but the mech going to work. FMG stopped up. He is done as well. Three down on the side of Rudis Propolo. They're looking for Lilla as well. Iron Shell, Bone 7 is putting in work in this it's fight. Happening. The only one that is surviving is going to be DK Phobos, who's already just gotten the hell out of there. Four dead. What a fight from Cloud9. Wow. It's happening. <laughs> yeah, 1% oh, chance, real. man. Huh? The 1%, huh? Oh, we're the I, 1 that was, today, boys. They need a BKB, I think, on... Um, Mag, probably. Uh, I mean, this build. Wait, where's this plate mail? Who? Mag. Did he have one? I, I, he's had one for five minutes. It's on the courier. Oh no. That actually would have saved him, I think. And they probably would have won the fight and possibly even the game. I'm not actually sure why it's not on his hero. He had. That is very scroll, important. Like, he has so much HP, but only seven armor. Oh, if you add no, DK Phobos is actually he just PKBs and he's fine. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I mean, seven armor on top of. Uh, I mean, ten armor on top of his twenty-five hundred HP is very significant. And that bracer is doing nothing for him currently. By the way. I also. I mean, I don't really like this build from Death Prophets anyways. I think this is a really dated build. Like, pretty much everyone just goes for a BKB now. Yeah, it or used to be hard, but now it's 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 all about the BKBs. Bottom lane. Dream Quill on the Phobos. You just got out of there. I don't know why you're there. Mystic Flare does nothing. AY gets silenced. And they get the kill. Ownage. Wow. Okay. Uh, they are all coming here, but they're just all gonna TP. Should Everyone should be safe on the side of Cloud9. Bots is actually not in the best spot. But all right, so fine. let's look at what's the damage. So it's about six thousand net worth now. Oh my 14, god! Fourteen thousand, and experience is actually even. All right, well you talked about this earlier though. Given everything is the same. Um, uh oh, the courier is actually gonna die as well. Uh, oh my god! Oh, this boy. is the second courier Fox is gonna get. What was on it? Five hundred twenty-five gold. Was that a bracer? Yeah, it was. This max bracer. That's how useless that thing is. It dies in the courier. Doesn't even matter. He, he does have the uh, Alpha Wolf nearby, so he does have the Pack of Azora. His BKB is now done. That's a Dagon level 2 for Puck. Hey man, I saw Pi Cat take over a game with Dagon level 5 earlier. That was yesterday. Yeah. I think Fata uh, can do the same thing. What hero was he? He was Puck, Puck yeah. Okay. I, I didn't see the game, so. And that was the only reason that, that, that Alliance even had a chance in that game. They lost. It's not a good game for them. So is Pi Cat now going to be an Alliance member? I mean, it sure looks like it. I, well, Team I mean, Seeker was playing, playing with, with a rise. Right? Team Seeker was playing with a rise. They kept sing sing. Rumors well, abound. That's right. I don't know anything. I mean, I'm pretty sure that a rise. I mean, Pycat's no longer on Tinker. I'm pretty sure. Yes, that's like that, that is the already. that is the rumor that everyone is talking about currently. Yeah. There's gonna be like a Reddit post about it. Like Dota Pit casters talk about how uh, Pycat's no longer Team Seeker, as if we know anything. There's a hint. Here's a hint. We actually don't know anything. I was there and I don't know anything. Man, people were fiending and I was not one of those fiends. Oh, uh, I'm always fiending at a Dude, I know. I know you're always fiending. And, and and it's like every NA Dota player is a fiend. <laughs> except me. I'm just like, I don't care enough. I mean, I kind of care. But I'm just like not going to go into other people's private business. I wasn't going to go up to Sam and be like, hey, who's your roster now? Meanwhile, Judge up top. Is he going to be in trouble? Is he dead? Oh, they no, have the there's like four heroes though. here. Yeah, he's actually just gonna be KBTP, and they have no way of stopping him. Hmm. That's I mean, what if he got bashed? Oh, he's going Mantis style. I've seen this build before. You know why he does this, right? Why he does or, Manta? Yeah. Why? Or at least one of the reasons why people think he does Manta. Why? Apparently, it's for PRD um, timing, I guess priming, if you will. Because apparently, your Manta illusions. 
prime. I, it's something about priming your purity to make your sure. Your manta illusions. I don't know, dude. That sounds false. It's listen. False. Blaze was talking about it. I ask him. Mm. Somebody in chat knows what I'm talking about. They saw that vod at the summit. I don't know. I mean, I would have to go and test it. I mean, how do you even test that? <laughs> 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 My dad works at Valve. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know. That like doesn't even make sense, though. I don't know, man. There was a reason behind it, and I was gonna sound really cool for a second that I would like. I forgot what the reason was. <laughs> I mean, I know he gets crit, like it crits. It yes. does mini crits, but yeah. Uh, you, you, I, I don't know. You that... could you, you could prime it so that I think you are critting, and then you pop your mantis salad, and then it crits. I don't know. Pilot dies. He he's dead, but. You know what I'm saying? Like you're you're about to crit, and then you pop your mantis style illusions, and then they crit as soon as you pop them. Maybe that has something to do with it. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's what that I think. The, that's the explanation. I'm pretty sure. I might be, I might be completely wrong. I don't know. It still doesn't sound like a reason to get manta. I'm pretty sure he just has a manta because they have silences. And that's stuff. true. And they're gonna jump in. Envy dodge. hex is up on mag right now. There's gonna be the uh, dream call coming out as well. Great yule to keep him alive though. The fight's still going. Bones have been taking a lot of damage. There is gonna be the effigy. They do blow up mag, but AEE -E is taking too much damage here. They have to buy back on Fata. That wall did a lot of work, but it wasn't enough. Fata's gonna come in. Illidan has a double damage rune. He's about to jump in. He's gonna work on the tower. The concussive shot. Will go Arcane Bolt Ancient Seal as well. They're going to chase after Fata, but he pops up the Yule Scepter. Waiting Rift Day Shift going again. Meanwhile, the Tier 3 Tower has been taken down. Envy has no buyback, by the way. And they will be able to dig it up. Well, they get the kill on him. And Fata's chasing them all out, but it doesn't matter. The, the Raxes are exposed. They're being taken by Illidan. Yeah. And. <clears throat> okay. They actually just commit too much onto the Death Prophet. They blow everything they have on a Death Prophet. Sure, they kill him, but in the end, they just lose the fight after that. Two buybacks were forced. I believe Wisp... Did Wisp buy back as well? No. Yeah, Wisp bought back. Did he? he yeah, because remember, he died before the engagement. I guess so. So he had to oh, buy yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So two buybacks were forced. Rex were taken. <clears throat> I think... Uh, he should just get a BKB on this Death Prophet, and then it's nearly impossible for them to kill him. And one thing to note about PA is BKB is actually extremely effective at reducing the damage output that uh, the hero can do to you, because he can't blink strike. It's actually extremely significant. It had Mag had a BKB earlier, he would probably actually have more effective HP than he does with this heart. Yeah. Just the Phantom Strike is actually the Phantom Strike, yeah. yeah. Attack speed wise. On, How many crits do you get off the back end of that too? Uh, it's five, I think, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. Or but four. Like, I mean, like, four max attacks. So, EE could just be critting you for days while you're getting Phantom Struck, and then you're just dead. So, Envy, that's the reason why BKB is so good for this Death Prophet. You're absolutely right. They pick up the Shivas, though, and I guess that's fine, but a BKB makes it so that Mag doesn't die nearly as easy. And they're focusing him every single time in the fight. Like, as soon as he pops his R button, they just go on him. So. Smoke. They're okay. gonna find the FNG. Concussive Shot. Are we gonna fight this? Ancient Seal. This is not your fight to take. Phobos is running in though. Mag's gonna Shiva's guard. He's got his exorcism in five seconds. Fots is taking a lot of damage. BKB for AUI. He's trying to find something. Bashed up. Vacuum. There's the wall coming in. Now the exorcism goes. They take down Lil, but can they get Mag? He's gonna get fought on the backside. Envy. They yield scepter up. Boats of it's like, please don't kill me for the love of God. Dream Coil going in. Envy can't find a crypt for his life. He might finally get the kill, but look at Illidan coming in and wrecking the damage. Gets a couple of bashes as well. Ultra kill plus the MKB. And they're going to take Roshad and maybe even the game off the back end of that. Oh god, Bone 7, no! DK oh. Fobo spotted him out, they have the ward here on the high ground. Oh, what a disaster, it's a team up, there are no buybacks on any of the Cloud9 heroes. And the only good thing is that Mag does not have exorcism to push base with. Illidan That's is it. just too farmed on the Sark at this point. He has... He has the MKB and the Basher as well, so he actually just rips through a turn over. at this point. Yep. And, you know, it was a nice attempt from C9 to come back. They actually showed, like, really great presence in the mid-game. They basically picked VPP apart for a little while. Um, but it wasn't enough. They fell way too far behind in the early game. And VPP go on to take this game pretty convincingly. Now, we talked about the draft at the beginning, and I didn't like Cloud9's draft to begin with. Invertus yeah. Pro Polar, even with the Space Cow, is a bit... Pessimistic about how it would work out for the Spirit Breaker, but ZK Phobos had a heck of a game, man. Like, it wasn't just him, obviously, but 
He played really well in the Space Cow, so. Yep. Certainly did. I Yeah, I, like you said, I didn't like this draft coming over from C9. The Dark Seer really feels out of place. There's not really a hero that it combo, combos with. They sort of go all in on this PA 